All right, this is my Alpine ILX W650 uh, installed in a 2016 Jeep Wrangler. Now I'm gonna go over CarPlay in this video. Uh, for my install, I put this USB port in. This replaces the cigarette lighter with a double USB port. Uh, that's not necessarily required for the Jeep specifically. Uh, when I tried to use the built-in USB port wiring, it did not play friendly with Android Auto. For my Jeep, it was problematic with Android Auto using the built-in Jeep wiring. I don't know if CarPlay is as sensitive as Android Auto is or not, but either way, this is what I have it hooked up with. I'm going to be using this Amazon Basics cord, which is, I've used multiple times with CarPlay, and it works just fine. I'm using my wife's iPhone, my wife's uh, iPhone 8 Plus. Uh, which he's had for a while. I have a video on it. Uh, so first, let's just check the settings. So let's check for a software update. Uh, so she does have 12.4 available. She has not installed it, but it's not the 13.0 update. So I don't. We're gonna. I don't know if she wants to install that yet. So we're not gonna install that just yet. All right. So standard CarPlay. Yeah. So you can allow or just allow that. This is my Jeep, not my wife's. So. Her phone won't be connected here very often, so I don't really care about that at the moment. So it's not the newer version of CarPlay, of course. It is just the previous, the standard stuff. Uh, as you can see here, you have your little sidebar pieces there. You have a now playing this Alpine takes you back to the default head unit. And then, of course, the CarPlay icon will be here. If Android Auto is plugged in, it will be listed here as well instead of CarPlay. If you don't have anything plugged in, I'll just say connectivity. All right, so you can see it has built-in Apple's Maps, uh, podcasts, audiobooks. I don't think you can move these things when you hold. Yeah, you can't drag anything around. I don't understand why it's set up like this. It seems like it should be on one screen. So previously, I thought CarPlay was better than Android Auto. I do like the newer version of Android Auto a little better. But So let's just check out Google Play Music so you don't have to use... You don't have to use uh, the built-in uh, iTunes or anything like that, right? You can use Google Plot products. So, you can see you can traverse through songs and play them in the now playing screens the same as it was previously. You have that pause there. You have physical buttons to turn the volume up or down. Uh, you don't have a way to skip a track physically. The steering wheel controls do work, so I'm going to use my steering wheel controls to change. That's the volume. Uh, let me change the track. Yes. Yeah, so you can see it changes it. You can kind of see the album artwork blurred in the background, but it's really hard to tell. Uh, and of course, they have this home button here. I can fast switch to one of these. If I click on the phone, uh, it goes to the regular phone settings. You can see the keypad. Uh, check your voicemail, your contact, or recents. I'm not going to show those, obviously, because it's my wife's phone. You all don't need to see that. Uh, Spotify is going to look pretty similar, I believe. So let me just, so there's a... Yeah, so I mean, it looks practically the same. You can tell it's uh, Spotify by up here, and I guess these icons are a little different. Let me go back to Google Play Music, and we'll see. Yeah, so it doesn't have those little icons at the bottom, but it does have Play Music, but I'm just playing a single song as opposed to an album. Uh, let's see, her playlist. She uses Google Play Music and not Spotify, but... Your library should be on there. Your playlist should be on there. She only has a handful of playlists, so it's uh, it's all right. Uh, the rest now playing will just take you to whatever was playing last, I believe. So now that's so let me switch back to Spotify. I bet I will play. Let's go take it to Spotify. So let's go Spotify. Uh, let's click on this. So now we're on Spotify. I'm going to open up Waze. And then I'm going to go back home. And we're hit now playing. And it takes you back to Spotify. So yeah. If you get home and then this now playing, it takes you to whatever music app you were playing. 
Uh, she doesn't use podcasts. I don't believe she uses anything for Apple Music. Yeah, she doesn't have anything on here for this. Oh, well, I guess she does. I guess it's before she started using. Yeah, so you can tell this is. So they all look kind of the same. There's not a lot of difference between these apps. We have this. You can lower this less on iTunes. Let me go back to Spotify and see what that looked like on there. Well, I don't know what that plus did. Let me go. Let me browse. Since he has a lot of playlists, I don't know why it's taking so long to pick a song out of there. Let's... Let me try this. Siri, play Tupac on Spotify. I can't play from Spotify. No, yeah, well, Siri sucks. Siri, play Tupac on Google Play Music. I can't play from Play Music. Yeah. Again, I'm not, I'm biased. I'm not an iPhone guy. Oh, there's a problem loading this content. Oh, it shouldn't have the paid version of Spotify. Or maybe she does, though, I think. Uh, let me just go back to like songs. I bet that's what that plus did added to her like songs, I bet. Well, I don't know. Let's go to albums. It doesn't have that plus. I don't know what that plus does on Spotify on CarPlay. Obviously, that's their signal level for Wi-Fi. That's their signal level for uh, LTE. And that's the clock, of course, which is correct. Uh, so, that's really about it. Other than showing Maps versus Google Play. Or versus Waze. Let me open up Waze and see. Actually, let me see. Siri, navigate to Waffle House on Waze. One possibility is Waffle House, which averages three and a half stars and is inexpensive. Let me know if you want to hear the whole list. That's pretty good. I didn't know. We'll see if it'll do the maps. You can also use this button here. Siri, navigate to Waffle House using Google Maps. Which local business? Tap the one you want. Let's try that again. Navigate to Waffle House on Google Maps. One possibility I see is Waffle House. Let's see directions next. to Waffle House using Google Maps. Okay, that's good. So it does appear to be running slow. I don't notice any slows with the head unit, so that could be Mike's phone because she hasn't updated or because it's older. Or who knows what. I mean, I don't know why this is not coming through. I don't have any problems using Android Auto on here with Spotify or, I mean, with Google Maps or Waze. We'll see if Apple Maps works. All right, yeah, I got to blur that out because it's my address, but it appears to find it just fine using Apple Maps. You can also tap this little button to switch you back and forth between the regular screen of this. Or, of course, you can do the same thing using this button here. Uh, Siri seems to work. Siri, tell me a joke. If your band ever goes out on tour, make sure you bring along a Latvian sound engineer. And a check one, two. And a check one, two. That was awful. So, Google's no better though. I did Android Auto video yesterday and their jokes are just as shitty, so. These people aren't good at jokes. Alright, uh, well. So, music seems to work good. Uh, I would assume phone and messages. I'll click on messages. Who do you want to send it to? So, if you wanted to send a message, it goes right there. If you do show messages, it'll, i got to blur that out, of course. But, overall... 
This head unit's pretty good. I think it sounds pretty good. Uh, I don't know why maps aren't working. Let me see if it gives you... Oh, I did get this pop-up. Maybe I'll try this. So let me see if I allowed it and if it does any better. Okay. Alright, so that is the problem. I didn't allow that and now it works fine. Okay, so that's a lot better. The maps do work good. All right, so then let's see. You can go to settings. You can go to your root options. You can change your color scheme uh, to automatic or day and night mode. If you go night mode, it's just going to be dark. Uh, obviously, automatic is the way it is. Uh, if you want to do root options, you can avoid highways, avoid tolls, avoid ferries. So this is good. Okay, so I feel a lot better about this now. That was my fault for not uh, pressing that button. Uh, I gotta blur this out because it's my address. Waffle House. Sorry, I missed that. Hmm. Navigate to Waffle House. All right, searching for Waffle House. Uh, this is... All right, so there we go. You can see uh, it shows everything. It shows your speed limit here. You can hit this guy to do your notifications like normal. All right, so that's good. So you do have to allow that option that I was looking at. So now I feel a lot better about this now. And of course it shows the time here still and everything. All right, so it works pretty good then I would say uh, as far as uh, the head units go. And of course, if you put it in reverse, your camera pops up just fine. Uh, so I covered the full head unit. I will say if you've had another head unit like a Sony uh, AX5000, this screen's a little dull compared to that one. It's not bad. I mean, it's light years ahead of the 430N that was originally in the Jeep. Uh, but other than that, I don't have very many complaints about this head unit. Personally, it's kind of small. I mean, it's 7 inches, which is big for a standard double den, but I was used to having an 8 inch screen or 10 inch screen. So uh, for me, I'll probably not stick with this one. I'll probably put it in someone else's car in my family and then put in, uh, I'll probably put in the Pioneer that's like 8 inches. You gotta cut the dash, of course, for that one, so it's a little different. So, But if you're looking at the Alpine Alex W650, uh, audio quality is pretty good. I have a full head unit overview on this. I have a full install and Android unboxing host different videos on each individual subject. So check them out. Uh, but CarPlay works just fine. Just make sure you allow that access on the phone. All right. Thanks for checking me out.